Blessings, blessings, all the glory to Kadash, Jerusalem, in the name of Kadash, Solomon. Uh, I just was, I took a look at Romans chapter 9, and it's beautiful, it's a beautiful scripture, it really is, it's beautiful how this all uh, culminates, or the misinterpretations elucidated, um, and you know, when I think about the power of R712, the elucidation sets us free. Um, as we explain the truth to the humans or to the, the people throughout Earth and beyond, we become free. We, we break the cords, we break the chains. Um, in our act of obedience, we become more powerful as humans. And we reach this supernatural realm eventually understanding that perfection is possible. Romans chapter 9, verse 13, and it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, but Esau have I hated. Um, so here, most of us believe that God was favoring the one who was conniving. We believe that God was favoring the one who was corrupt. And the truth of the matter is, first and foremost, he was favoring Isaac or Ishak. And after he was favoring Ishak, he was favoring Esau. When you read Yaakov, Yah means law. Kab is another is synonymous for money. So law of money have I loved. You know, when we love, we keep the commandments. In keeping the commandments, we correct those who don't follow the commandments. So law of money have I corrected. And Esau, and, and E, E means God, or Jerusalem. And Jerusalem separation, law of peace, or love of money separation, have I hated. So he hated the separation between love and money and because he was obedient because Esau um, hated these things he kept the promise of Ishak you have to hate money remember he says the love of money is the root to all evil I shouldn't say you have to hate money you have to hate the separation between money and um, law you want them to be united in other words to make it easy Instead of all this cheating going on, as Egypt got cheated, as Esau got cheated, it would be fair and square. You get your money fair and square. That's holy. All right, so that explains the scripture. Uh, Romans chapter 9 and 13 elucidated. All the glory to Kadash Jerusalem in the name of Kadash Salomon. Shalom. And you know the rules. I don't even got to say it this time. Peace.